driving the Prime yesterday, you probably thought you were rid of me, but I'm back to talk again to you today about the 2017 Corolla, which received a great mid-cycle update, a lot of nice changes on this vehicle, so let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, before we get started, as Rick mentioned earlier, we're celebrating 50 years of Toyota's global production of Toyota Corolla, and uh, you can see we've come a long way since the, the first generation Corolla that was produced, uh, but uh, you know we're so happy to have sold over 43 million of these and make it the number one selling car in the world. Uh, I'll, tell, I'll tell you a little bit more toward the end of my presentation about our celebration, that, including the 50th anniversary special edition, which has some really nice touches on it. So uh, stay tuned for that. But let's jump into the product update. So as we talked about earlier with Toyota Safety Sense, you heard it a lot today, Toyota Safety Sense P will be standard on all Toyota Corollas. Now this is huge because this vehicle starts under $19,000. In this segment, this is unprecedented to have this level of standard active safety equipment. All right, we're talking about pre-collision system with pedestrian detection that gives you your forward collision <coughs> warning with automatic braking. You also have your lane departure alert with steering assist, auto high beams, as well as your dynamic radar cruise control. So again, we think this is a big change, a game changer to have this level of standard safety equipment all in a vehicle that starts under $19,000. Now let's talk about the exterior updates because that's really another big story on this car. Right here I have uh, what's our, basically our LE. 2016 and our new 2017 LE. So you can see the front end has changed a lot. We've added new headlights, a new front fascia, and you can really see how it gives it a little bit wider, a little bit lower stance, but it really gives some more elegance to it. Now on the other side where we have our sportier models, you can see we have our S over here. This is our new SE grade. So we've changed the grade names a little bit, and don't worry, that's in your press kits, and I'll also go over that a little bit later today, but I'm focusing more on product now. So you can really see the differentiation between uh, the front fascia for the SE grade, right? You can see there's, there's a different headlight design, a little bit bolder and more aggressive stance. I think it really gives the vehicle a good look, so, so please take a look at that when you get out there. Looking at them side by side, so here's our L, LE, XLE, and LE Eco grades, and then we have our SE, XSE, and Special, uh, special Edition. So these are the two different front ends, much more differentiation than in the past between these two different, uh, two different grade types, right? And the reason for that is we really wanted to add a little bit more differentiation, a little bit more uh, design characteristics between the two. So a little more elegance over here, but still looks really good. And then over here we have a little bit more sporty, this a little bit more bold, um, as you can see. So one thing to note here is that the front end of the XLE will actually feature the headlights on this side. And I'll go over that right here. So we have two different headlight designs. And uh, the, the, in 2014, when we launched the, uh, the, the, this generation of the Toyota Corolla, it came with the one headlight design which had a <coughs> um, low beam LED headlights, and that was standard on all grades. Well, we've now added high beams. We have, we have all LED lighting in the front end, and really in the subcompact segment, standard LED lighting on the front end is, is also something that's really unprecedented. So, our two different headlight designs, this one's more of a single lens where we have a multi-lens down here. You can see the grades set up to where they fall, so it looks really good, I think. In addition to that, we have some tail light updates. So in the past, again, we only had one tail light on all Corollas, now we have two different styles. You can see we've added a little bit more tint to the top of this. And then down here, on these grades, we've added a LED reverse light, which has allowed us to, um, to really re uh, uh, add a red look around the entire lens, right, with that much smaller light. Here's what they look like from behind. Really quickly, Two new exterior colors in our color lineup. We have Falcon Gray Metallic as well as Galactic Aqua Mica. And we have new wheels by grade. Again, this is all in your press kit. So um, the My Favorite wheel is actually the new XSE and SE wheel. You'll see it out there on, on both of those models. It's a 17 inch wheel and it, it looks really good in my opinion. All right, so interior updates. We've also refined the interior. We've given it a much more premium look. How we did that, you can see all the area that, that we've, we've, uh, we've redesigned in the dash. And what we've done, we've kind of used what we call layered design. We use a lot nicer materials, some, some really premium look, looking materials. And the way these different materials mesh together, those seam lines are hidden by this layered design, right? And you'll kind of take a look at it when you're in the vehicle. But the main thing is that it, it adds a little bit more spacious feel to the cabin with this design. And, and, and it gives it that much more premium look. Interior colors. We have a couple new interior colors for our SE models, you can see here, and then our LE models over there as well. Technology, all right, so audio availability. We still retain Entune audio on the, the L, LE, and SE, LE Eco. Uh, that's a 
one inch touchscreen display. Available on those frames, you can also jump up to the, our, our new seven inch display that's on the Corolla, which gives you connected navigation apps. So you can get uh, audio, or excuse me, navigation availability on, on those frames as well. And then, stand, and then that's also standard on the XLE, uh, the SE manual, as well as the special edition in XSE. And then available on the XLE and XSE for those that, that want the premium navigation system, we have our integrated navigation, again, that seven inch display. Uh, that also includes our Entune app suite. The multi-information display has been updated. So on the LLE and LE Eco, it's receiving the 3.5 inch screen. So that's, a, that's an upgrade for that. And then we have a new 4.2 inch full color screen that's standard on all other models. Uh, this is another added benefit of Toyota Safety Sense P being standard. Uh, we needed to upgrade the MIDs to have uh, ability to manage some of the settings for for Toyota Safety Sense, such as your lane departure alert. Um, there's different settings you can change with each of those, um, but uh, you, you, you can ask us more about that a little bit later. But that's just another added benefit of adding TSSPs. You get a nice little, um, a, nice, a nicer MID to be able to use and manage your settings. Now performance, we maintain our same trusty and reliable 1.8 liter four cylinder engine. In addition, the LE Eco model still has its Valvematic 1.8 liter, which has a little bit more fuel efficiency. On the transmission side, we still have the CVT. One thing to note is that the L model, the base grade, uh, used to have a four-speed automatic. That now will have come standard with the CVT, so upgrades there. And then the six-speed manual transmission is now only available on the SE. We actually do have one six-speed manual SE out there for you to drive, so uh, please feel free to, uh, to take that one out and have a good time. Now, as I talked about earlier, we have a 50th anniversary special edition. This model is based off of the SE grade, except that it has a unique package. So it has new, unique 17 inch wheels, look really good. This black cherry pearl paint is, is available only on the special edition. You can get the special edition in two other colors, in the blizzard pearl and the silver. And, uh, but I really like the way that this black cherry looks. You can see we've added, uh, as I said, new wheels. There's badging both inside and outside the vehicle. Um, there's also some unique trim inside. It looks really good. We'll be, we, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll be producing about 8,000 units of these this year um, to really celebrate the 50 years of Toyota Corolla. So I think it's a nice package and a lot of people will really like it. Now great strategy, as I talked about earlier, we've changed our great strategy a little bit. Again, this is all in your press kit. I'm not going to go through everything here. But the main thing you need to know is that uh, <clears throat> we have LLE and then we've added the XLE as, uh, as what used to be kind of our LL, <clears throat> LE Plus, LE Premium. We, we've aligned our great strategy with Camry, and the reason for that is we want to make it more simple for our customers to find the right Corolla that they need. So it's a little bit simpler lineup, and, uh, <clears throat> and it's a little bit more aligned with, with how our Camry uh, great strategy goes. On the SE side, so instead of S, S Plus, and S Premium, we now have SE, XSE for your premium sporty look, and then, as, we get, as I said, our 50th anniversary special edition, which is a nice package based off of the SE. <laughs>